And welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Um, this is a little experiment I'm going to try that is based on an old story a friend of mine told me years and years and years ago that I'd almost forgotten about until I saw this in the nearby store. Coffee Mate. Yes, the stuff that um, has been around for a long time. This coffee whitener. Um, what's it actually made of, anyway? Uh, glucose syrup, hydrogenated vegetable oil etc etc contains coconut they say so yeah this stuff's been around for the longest time and um, I remember having it oh there was some event I was at or something like that anyway there were um, there were cups of coffee sitting out there and I think the milk had been sitting a little longer than I had thought maybe was a good idea so I thought hey I'll, I'll try that coffee mate stuff and uh, poured it in it's a powder if you've never seen this stuff it's a, it's a powdery material stirred it into my coffee and it tasted really really good Years later, I'm um, hanging out with my buddy, and I said, Hey, I'm going to try some of that coffee, mate. Haven't had that in a while. And he said to me, Uh, you know that stuff's flammable, right? And I'm like, what? He said, yeah, it's like an incendiary almost uh, material. And I was like, what? No, it's it's coffee, mate. You put it in your coffee. He's like, yeah, well, a friend of mine had some, and uh, he... Now, how did, he, how did the story go? He says his friend had a bigger jug of this. Um, and he was, uh, half asleep. He was just, you know, making his morning coffee and he had tucked this thing under his arm. And, uh, I guess it was sort of, uh, the, the, the powder was kind of dripping out the side or whatever. Uh, then he went to, um, put it into his coffee and he lit up a cigarette. And according to my friend's story, the flame went up the coffee mate into the container and then just, uh, con continued on to, uh, singe his eyebrows. I thought, whoa, okay, I'm keeping away from Coffee Mate. So I saw this on the store shelf, and I thought, I wonder if that's still true. So, um, yeah, I'm going to light this on fire. But I'm not going to do that here on the wooden table, because I don't think that would be a very good idea, and I don't think my wife would appreciate it. So, uh, let's actually move to the kitchen to a place of safety. All right, so now we have moved to the uh, stove in the kitchen, which I figure is a safe place if there's going to be any open flame. Uh, I've got an old frying pan here that we can use, and uh, just to protect even it, I've got an aluminum cake tin here that uh, should provide a little bit of protection. So basically, you're just going to pour the coffee mate into there, and then I have standing by here my flame. All right, let's try this out. Now, just to verify, I have never opened this. This is a brand new container. You can see it's still got the seal. So let's just take that lid off to begin with. This way you know it's uh, never... I haven't replaced it with gunpowder or anything crazy like that. There we go. So there's there's the material there. I mean, it just it looks like a nice little powdery powder. Whatever way you want to describe it. That's, that's you know... I always thought, oh, this stuff is perfectly fine. What's the problem? Let's set it on fire! <clears throat> All right, now, open her up and give it a very, let's give it a nice little trail like that. I think that's, that's a good place to begin with. All right, flame on. Let's see what happens. This is exciting. Well, uh, nothing's happening. Weird. It's burning it. But nothing's happening. Huh. Well, what do you know? I'm giving this a good solid. Well, you can see there, I've... I've there's even a few uh, burned bits. Nothing. Phew! That smells really bad, too. Yeah, no, that... That's been on fire. Um, I wonder if they've changed whatever it was that uh, used to make this stuff flammable. Huh. Just for verification, or just to be safe, let's or to conclude the uh, experiment, let me put a, a much bigger pile in. Okay. And still being careful.
Huh. Nothing. Not a darn thing. Interesting. So either that was a uh, myth that he told me, or Coffee Mate, uh, or what was it, Nescafe? Nes Nestle may have heard people make this. Ugh. Okay. Now it's stuck on the end of my lighter. Uh, yeah, I guess Nestle must have um, heard people complain about that and decided to make it safer. You can see this is actually, um, it's actually sort of formed a, a layer of gunge on the end of my lighter. So it's definitely come into contact. Okay, just to be thorough with my experimentation, just to make absolutely certain I'm not just doing it wrong with this lighter, I'm actually going to set this piece of paper towel. I'm going to light that and set that in there. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just smoking and nothing. Okay, well, experiment over, I guess. I guess they fixed whatever that was. Uh, I wouldn't still recommend actually having Coffee Mate. Uh, I mean, why have a powder when you can have just, you know, something a little bit more natural like milk or cream or whatever. Still, um, there goes the theory that it's actually an incendiary because I've tried lighting this stuff and nothing's happening at all. I'll try for one more time. Just over here, light that end of the paper towel. Just in case, spreading it around, give it some air. Nothing. Okay, well, <clears throat> I just thought I'd try that out. That was an old wives' tale that um, always had me curious. And when I saw this on the store shelf, I thought, I wonder if it's still true. Doesn't look like it. All right, that's uh, experiment over. We'll see you down the rabbit hole.